And in this corner, we have Smart Deploy. It does computer imaging, app deployment, and driver management. It does Windows migration, and it does remote IT automation from anywhere. It helps you manage one golden image, not thousands of endpoints. And it can do all of this from the cloud, using Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive accounts. And in the other corner, courtesy of Manage Engine, we have OS Deployer that is known as, for at least one more week, Endpoint Central. It does imaging too. It lets you image live machines, migrate user profile data, and hardware independent deployment. And it conveniently does automated driver management. And now, let's do this thing! Round one, fight! Hi, I'm Tara with Smart Deploy. Welcome to Smart Tech Tips. In this episode, we're going to be doing a feature set comparison for one of our competitors, Manage Engine, or Desktop Central, or Endpoint Central, or, or whatever name they change to next week. The imaging product in their arsenal is called OS Deployer, for now. So, let the IT cage match begin. Okay, so this is OS Deployer on this side. And then on the right side, we have Smart Deploy, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly go through a couple of the features. So create image, pretty simple, self-explanatory, right? I'm gonna create the image right here. I can choose some that are already here if I want to. I can make my own. I can select a new computer. I'm gonna come back over here. I can deploy an image. I can customize the deployment. I can do it instantly. I can schedule it. I can see my deployment status. Let's jump down to drivers. One thing that Endpoint Central does that Smart Deploy doesn't do, because we're gonna be fair, this is a fair comparison, is this product will actually grab the drivers from a machine that it sees, and it will store them in its driver repository. So that is kind of a cool feature. So if it, if you, if it images a Lenovo 7450, say, actually that's a Dell 7450, it will save those drivers forever. So it's kind of a cool feature, so I'm gonna point it out. It will back up a user profile. Smart Deploy does that as well, but uh, then we come down here to our image repository. You can set, of course, where you save your image repository. I can add to it. It's got a little helpful video over here. I've got a driver repository. Here you can say where you want it to go. So pretty right now we're pretty comparable. Um, here's where we're gonna cre create our media. If I say create bootable media, I can do Pixie Boot, USB. I can make an ISO right here. So still pretty standard. This is where I'm gonna say, do I wanna go to remote office, domain, blah, blah, blah. Here's my applications, okay? So this is something I is a little bit different that I wanna point out. I can hit add application right here, but if I'm not an existing Manage Engine customer and I don't have the whole ecosystem set up, this adding application is going to be wholly manual. So for me, that's kind of a pain. But if I already have a Desktop Central set up, my server's already up and going, I already have my software repository. So that's pretty cool because this little module of OS Deployer is going to it's going to fit right in. Okay, so it's either a good or a bad depending on what you have configured already. Then this down here, com computer specific settings, that's the same. Uh, Smart Deploy does that as well. Um, so that's kind of Manage Engine. Now let's hop over to Smart Deploy. So if I'm looking at them just from the GUI, for me, Smart Deploy is a little easier on the eye. I like the GUI a little bit better. It's just, it, it's a little simpler for me maybe a little easier to use. And I should just say, I use Desktop Central for seven years, so I have a high level of familiarity with the product. I like the product, I know how to use it. So I really am trying to be very fair and balanced here. Okay, so let's hop back over to Smart Deploy. In my activities, I can hit add devices and generate client installer. So if I wanna install this on all of my, my entire fleet, what I did is I generated the client installer and then I used uh, PDQ Deploy to send it out to my test environment. Uh, it, was, it took me 35 seconds, it couldn't have been easier. 
and I would just hit install or I use deploy like I said, but you could do it the way they suggest. Then I can come down to computer management. Once I'd installed the client, uh, all my computers popped up in here. See here are all my uh, Stranger Themes. That's my thing, Stranger Things theme. So now I can click on the client itself and see all this inventory data that I just pulled in. It, it couldn't have been easier. It was very simple. And I can start actions based on the computer right from here. I can see all the software installed, the version of course, the size, the architecture, and I can start an action right from here. So I really like that about Smart Deploy. I can deploy an application, I can image drivers, I could capture the user state. Now remember, Manage Engine can do that as well, but I like the way this one does it and where it does it from. So for me, that's a nice little plus. Then let's hop down to software management. Here's all my applications. So remember, this is already part of the product. I don't have to have a bigger architecture in place. It's right here within the product. So that's a plus for Smart Deploy for me. And if I come right here, I can right click on it. And again, take the action right from this pane. So simple, I like that. I like the simple. Then down here on patch management, I can do it right from the machine. I can install updates. So also big bonus points, love that. And, and you can do this in Desktop Central, but not from OS Deploy you have to jump over to the other sister product. So win for Smart Deploy right there. Okay, reference machines. This is just my, the machines I've already made. So that's very comparable between the two. Here's where I'm gonna store my images, platform packs. These, this was similar, it's just called something different. But from here, I can take an action. I love that. That is a big plus for me here is that I can take an action. It's easy to find, it's simple. Um, and then this is a great time to point out another big bonus is I can upload this to the cloud. So one thing that Smart Deploy does that Manage Engine doesn't is you can deploy from the cloud. So love that, big plus. Uh, applications and tasks. I don't have any applications in here because I haven't done that yet, but answer files, great option. Love it, love it, love it. Deployment packages, they both do that. Um, Smart Deploy is the only one that does reporting. Um, and it's not incredibly robust, I'll say, but it does have reporting. So if I wanna see all the software that I have installed, I can. Um, OS Deployer doesn't have any reporting. So I'm gonna give it a slight edge to uh, Smart Deploy for that. And then down here on the tools, I do have a little more tools here. Okay, so those are our products, right? So let's hop in really quick to our points board. Cause I'm gonna be fair. So I made a little chart, it's, it's pretty awesome. So online, offline imaging, they both do it. Okay, so they both get a point. Multicast versus unicast deployment. Yep, they both do that. Hardware independent deployment. Yep. Agent-based remote employment. Yep, they both do that. Cloud-based de cloud deployment. Only Smart Deploy does that one. Software deployment. Um, Smart Deploy definitely does it. And OS Deploy, I put kind of. Because as I said, if you have the whole ecosystem set up and you use Desktop Central, you can deploy because you have the software repository set up. So my answer is kind of, so half a point. Then driver repository, yep, yep, driver updates. Smart Deploy will update the drivers. As far as I can tell, Manage Engine does not do that. Um, password protected imaging, they both do that. So kind of a little MFA imaging. Um, zero touch deployment, yes, yes. Remote office deployment, yes, yes. User profile migration, yep, check, check. Uh, reporting, only Smart Deploy does reporting. Okay, now we're on support. <laughs> this is a big one, big one. Far and away, Smart Deploy has better support. Um, that was a sore spot for me as a customer. Really didn't have great experience with uh, Desktop Central support. So mm, definitely gonna go with Smart Deploy on that. And then uh, in the research that I did for this video, customers, much more likely to recommend Smart Deploy. So for customer support, you get a point for Smart Deploy. So here's what I'm gonna say. If you are an existing customer of Desktop Central, I can see how it would make sense for you to use OS Deployer because it's just kind of an add-on module. It fits nicely with their ecosystem and it makes sense, you already know it. So I can see how you would probably just use that one if you're not a Smart or not a Manage Engine customer, Smart to play all the way, all the way. Support is so much better. It's just simpler, it's easier, and it just works.
That's it for today's episode. Thanks for joining. I'm Tara for Smart Deploy. Like and subscribe to our channel for more smart tips. Thanks for watching.